What's up, YouTube? This is DBAMS Gaming coming at you at something new. Yeah, that's right. There's no more our Colonel Sander Career Mode episode today. We're introducing our Road to Glory series. This is how it's going to work, though. Barack and I will both make our own Road to Glory character, and you guys will just follow their careers into hopefully the NFL one day. We'll be exporting them into Madden 25. And here I'll start off with my pro first here. Um, we're going to make these characters be brothers, so they will share the last name together. So here we go. I will be creating a defensive end, and his name will be Leroy Steele. Yeah, it sounds pretty big. You know, good name. Took us about like 20 minutes to come up with suitable names for our pros. And, you know, everything else just seems pretty simple here, as you can watch. Hopefully we can play good with these guys. I mean, it's a lot of fun. Especially when you make it into the Madden. That's always an exciting time in the game. As I'm, I'm only going to be playing uh, left end. I'm not going to put him into a secondary position. He's a pass rusher. And uh, what number do you ask? Oh, everybody's favorite number. That's right. You guessed it. 69. It's a hilarious number, okay? And uh, another surprising thing about these two guys. We're out of Canada. Yeah, not much football talent comes out of Canada into the NCAA or even NFL. But we're here to change things up, okay? He comes from the high school in Toronto. Their school name is Maple Leafs. The only Maple Leafs that can win something in Toronto. That's right. I'm sorry. Sorry for offending any Maple Leaf fans or any Canadian fans that watch. But yeah, you know, Toronto Maple Leafs High School. So it's a, par a private academy, right? And uh, yeah, it's a great school. We'll go with, the, of course, the blue and white. That's what Toronto sports. And, uh, yeah, good setup here. I mean, I, we don't really know how to do that whole uh, download the team uniforms offline yet. Not really too much interest into that. Uh, here we go. He's going to be the tallest you can imagine. You know, guys got to give you something that you haven't seen before, and I don't think I've seen this before. A 7-foot, 400-pound defensive end. So he, he has the tools to become big, folks. Pushers can his performance on the field make him a superstar. Because, I mean, I don't know if I've ever seen a 7-foot defensive end. I think the tallest I've ever seen would be like 6'8", six, 6'6". Six, six. And that's usually linemen, too. Of course, he's going to be black with the name Leroy. And we already kind of picked out the custom face that we were going to choose for him here. You know, dark 30. Kind of looks like a simple but mean face at the same time. Quickly here, just showing off what his arm build and everything's going to be. And yeah, I don't know, just pretty simple stuff here as you can see. Just trying to make him look as jacked as possible. I mean, the meaner the better. I mean, I don't know if you'd want to mess with Leroy if you saw him in real life. I'd probably be scared to like my death right there because he's one mean guy. And hopefully he can put that pain onto some quarterbacks. That's my goal. Injure, injure, injure. Hopefully I don't let uh, Roger Goodell or the NCAA hear that, but what can I do? And here we go, just kind of finishing up here. You can see he's a big guy. You can't complain about that. He he has the tools. He's going to be a monster. That's what I'm going to say. His nickname, we don't know that yet. But if you guys can think of a name for him, just put it in the comments. Because I really have no idea what his nickname could be. Maybe like Big Man or like Le Grande. That's probably my number one right now. And so here we go, giving Leroy the best possible equipment. What's he wearing? The Revo Speed. That's right. Usually it's a helmet that Brock always has for running backs and quarterbacks and receivers. No, not today. He's going to be wearing a Revo Speed, and that's fine. Hey, look, they're light. Best helmets on the market, in my opinion. And you know what? He's going to look good wearing it. He's always going to wear the visor, of course. Quarterbacks don't want to see his eyes. They'd probably be really scared. So he's going to be wearing the dark Nike. Um... Both of the Steel Brothers are fa uh, sponsored by Nike already, kind of like LeBron James when he was in high school, except the NCAA does not know that, and they are not aware of it, and they will not be notified, because then we will have a whole Johnny Manziel situation on our hands, and we're just kind of concentrating on playing football right now. You know, we grew up in the slums in Toronto, trying to make it better, make our lives better, make it to the big show, you know, give, our, give back to the community, the family. You know, just got to do it one step at a time, and uh, we're not getting into anything else except for football. Our minds are directly concentrated on football and nothing else here. As I quickly give him the nice sleeves, and then I really didn't know what to put onto him on his wristbands. 
I was thinking of putting like the wristband, but then a lot of linemen wear those uh, big gloves and stuff, like the full tape. I don't know, it kind of looks really weird in my opinion. So we'll just go with the wristband team color. And I think he's one of the first linemen to wear uh, Nike Vapor Flies. Yeah, Nike sent him a free couple pairs here in the mail, and he's going to be sporting them. What else do you expect him to do here? You know, he's a big guy. He's number one recruiting nation, hopefully. But again, when you're a defensive end, you probably won't get that much exposure. But you know what? Hopefully one day, he'll be big. And here, I really didn't know what the whole knee thing was. Uh, we'll keep it high socks, because I just really don't like no socks in football like that for some reason. Uh, obviously, we're going to be wearing the Nike mid-cuts. Like I said earlier in the video, we're sponsored by Nike. Uh, we're not going to wear any flak jacket or anything. But I will be putting on a back plate, and that's just kind of like a personal preference. I mean, it doesn't really do anything for you in the game, but I don't know why. Just kind of personal pet peeve of mine, to be honest. So here we go. That's the created Leroy Steel. Uh, schools here, folks. First school that Leroy is interested in is the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame. The second school, who else? But the SEC, not Alabama, Georgia. And your third school. Who is it going to be? You know, here we go from the Pac-12. And of course, Oregon. Every kid's dream is to go play in Oregon and wear those Nike jerseys because he's sponsored by Nike. So it makes sense. All right, now we'll keep the vid uh, difficulties on varsity. But we might switch it up to All-American if it becomes too easy or something. But we want our guy to kind of like be successful, not get completely shut down. So like on the defensive side, you might want to keep him on varsity. But if you play offense, you obviously might want to keep it on All-American because that's manageable to do good. As you can see, his spark rating was pretty high for being 7 foot, 400 pounds. He can probably squat like a nice 600 pounds. Bench is like 500. And that'll do it for me on my road to glory here. And we will see Mr. Leroy Steele in another episode. Yes, it will be uh, my character, Hakeem, will be his first name, from uh, Hakeem the Dream Olajuwon from the NBA, and uh, his uh, name will be, last name will be Steele. Uh, for my brother and I, we will be doing the end and the running back uh, combo, we'll be doing each of them once a week. And uh, I will be doing balance to start with, but uh, we'll lean into the power game. Just need a little speed for high school because it will be difficult for a pure power game. And I'll be number 33 since uh, my number is 33 in real life for high school. And we'll be from Toronto. Uh, like uh, my brother, he was a smart one, even though he's a lot bigger, stronger, faster. <laughs> and... Uh, of course, uh, we're going to go to a nice uh, high school. Uh, the stadium uh, is w the one I like. I, I really don't like the rest of them. They're, this one is the, the one that I prefer over the rest of them. Just because uh, the more seating and it, it kind of looks like a uh, high school I go to. So I, I thought it was pretty good. And it will be called the Raptors. So we'll have that, uh, the old Raptors, purple and uh, red. I'm not sure how you guys will like it. But uh, it'll be the high, high school colors. And of course, uh, he'll be black, just like my brothers. And uh, I'll be six foot one and uh, 245 pounds. And I think my guy's face here looks pretty, pretty sick with the chin strap. Let me show up here in a second. There we go. Right. So he looks like quite a boss. And we'll be giving him some nice uh, big uh, arms. So uh, he'll be able to give those nice stiff arms and power moves. Uh, he's got the big chest going to happen here. And I'm going to make him like a Maurice Jones Drew, but uh, taller. I'm going to be the big legs. I'm going to have some big legs here. And uh, hopefully 
uh, the power game will work well with them. You're going to be trucking and stiff arming more often than juking and spinning. Because most running backs you see on YouTube are either fast or doing all these outside moves and breaking it down the sidelines, getting these big plays when uh, I personally prefer just seeing my running back crush a DB or linebacker. I, I think it's the best feeling in the game. And uh, hopefully you can run into quite a few of those big time linebackers and embarrass them. But too bad uh, Manti Teo is already gone, so can't take him out. And uh, we'll have uh, quite big feet here. <laughs> the bigger the feet, the more balanced you are. And uh, calves, as usual, are going to have massive, since he's going to be a real muscular guy. And we will go on to uh, apparel here in a sec after I uh, adjust his uh, belly. I think it's uh, too small. And uh, I think he looks a little like Jones Drew, just bigger. And uh, I'll do the Revo helmets. Uh, I personally have one in real life. And Dan was right, they're very light. Uh, I love them. And I'm going to have a pretty uh, big uh, face mask, lots of bars, and have my dark visor. Uh, shoulder pad height will be considerably big yeah, because uh going to run into a lot of contact with this guy. Uh, the number uh, 33 is uh, Talib's old number, the Buccaneers. I used to uh, love him, watch him a lot. Then Darrell Revis became a new favorite DB to watch. And uh, now I'm kind of watching... The uh, Jones Drew, he he's uh, he's got some nice moves in him, and hopefully he can pull off some of those moves with my character here. And uh, I finally found out how to make uh, my character's sleeves short, because you want to show off all that muscle. And it took me quite a bit of time to figure out what kind of uh, elbow pads I want, because I want a uh, full pads on my guy here, because. Just uh, a lot of contact, need more pads, can't go into games all bruised and cut up and sore, and more healthier, better, call me a pussy if you want, guy uh, needs some pads. And uh, I got uh, a QB wristband on mine, he is going to figure out uh, the plays, because he's not the smartest guy in the world, doesn't memorize plays. So he's got he's gonna have a wristband with his elbow guards. He's my uh, Hakeem has had uh, elbow and uh, left ankle issues in uh, in her earlier high school career, but uh, hopefully uh, here on his senior year he will be at uh, full force, no injuries, and I will have some nice gloves, uh, same as uh, Dan. And his character. And we get uh, a lot of sweatbands on my uh, right arm. Just for a fact, uh, keeping that sweat off the hands. Able to catch and hang on to that ball a little more. As uh, my running back is, I'm hoping, would be the scariest guy coming into the NFL when he makes it there. Hopefully going to a bigger school with uh, more running plays than passing. As we will get uh, the Nike Viperfly gloves, uh, I personally think they're the best ones in the game. They look uh, pretty badass. I uh, wish uh, you could get colors for your uh, gloves, but uh, it's only black and white in this game. And uh, here I am getting my ankle support for the, my left leg with uh, Hakeem the Dream. Steel here uh, has had quite a few ankle injuries early in high school and hopefully it doesn't continue on co college as uh, I will not have any of those weird old lineman braces but I will have medium uh, socks to go with my uh, brace and uh, we'll have the Nike mid cut the ankle support 
and I, I will have uh, some pads on my back because once again we'll always go into those big contacts. Want my character never be shy of uh, contact with all these pads. He's all dressed up and ready to go. As we will be moving on to my top three schools, as we will be going to the SEC here from first team here in a sec, and we will be choosing the Florida Gators, and I'm looking forward to playing in the swamp there. As we'll go into my uh, second team here in the ACC, we'll be going to Virginia Tech, and I'm looking forward to all the run plays that they do, and uh, Hopefully it can bring a little power to uh, the Virginia Tech. I feel that's what they need. And uh, third team will be South Carolina and play with uh, Clowney. We'll be playing on varsity, same as Dan. They got an 83 spark, so I thought that was uh, pretty good for a six foot one, 245 pound running back. As we will uh, be playing the uh, first games and putting them up uh, hopefully pretty soon. And I'm looking forward for the first handoff. And the first sack. By the way, my guy will have a better career than yours. Oh, <laughs> we'll see. But yeah, for uh, D-Bands Gaming, I'm Dan. And I'm Brock. I uh, will catch you guys later. Uh, leave a like, comment on anything we have to improve. Subscribe. Follow us on Twitter too, and we'll catch you guys later.